So unfortunately, we don't always get our approach to a related distance exactly the way we want it, which affects the way the related distance writes. This doesn't have to be a massive problem as long as you're quick to react and your horse is on the same page as you. So in your mind going over the first part of the related distance, you have to know what needs to be done. Either shorten or lengthen your horse's stride. Then get to work as soon as you land so that you're not interfering with your horse's stride before it jumps the second part of the related distance. And that's what we'll be working on in this exercise. So you're definitely not going to have any trouble setting this exercise up. It's quick and easy. So let's start off with the related distance down the top long side of your arena. This is the long related distance. It walks an extra pace so that it does ride long. It rides down on 5 strides and with the extra pace it walks 25 paces for the 5 strides. Next, we build the line going down the bottom long side of your arena. It also rides down on five strides, but this line is a pace short, so it will ride down on five short strides. You take a pace off the standard 24 paces, so you set the oxa and the vertical 23 paces apart for the five strides. Okay, so now we set up the part of the exercise where you train to either land and immediately shorten your horse's stride or land and immediately lengthen your horse's stride. So let's start off with the oxa to the cavaletti. This is where you land and lengthen your horse's stride. So it's three strides from the oxa to the cavaletti. This would usually walk 15 paces, but you want it long, so you can either add one or two paces to this. I found one pace wasn't enough so I added two paces and made my distance from the Cavaletti to the Oxa 17 paces for the three strides. If you want, you can try 16 for starters and increase it to 17 when you're doing the 16 well. Then we do the vertical to the Cavaletti. This is where you train to land and shorten your horse's stride. It's also three strides and we're going to take two paces off the standard 15 paces and bring it down to 13 paces. You can definitely try it at 14 paces for starters until you're comfortable with it and then move it down to 13 paces. And that's it, you're all set up and ready to go. Don't forget about the link to a JPEG of the course plan in the description below so that it's easy to set up off your phone. Okay, so as always, the warm-up routine is all about Cavaletti work. You canter the two Cavalettis, one on the left rein and one on the right rein. There's nothing super complicated about them, other than you have quite a tricky approach and a relatively sharp turn afterwards. Exactly what you'd expect in a jump off or a speed class. I wouldn't call it intensive jump off training, but it will definitely help get you used to approaching a jump from a short, difficult angle and help you get used to doing quite a tight turn after a jump. Both of which we really don't train often enough especially if you're an ambitious rider that wants to win classes. You can certainly use variations of this with ramped up difficulty to help you with your jump offs. But that's not what today's exercise is about. As always though, train over your Cavalettis every chance you get. Right, so this is the part of the exercise where you practice landing and immediately shortening or lengthening your horse's canter stride. 
So let's start off with the landing and lengthening. It's the long three strides from the oxa to the cavaletti. Remember to start small and then once you're doing it comfortably, go to your normal height. This technique is especially useful when you get an abnormally quiet ride into a related distance. If you don't do anything about it, you're going to be too far off the second part of the related distance, which can cause all sorts of problems. Ideally, you should try to get the lengthening done in the first three strides of the related distance so you can get your horse back on its hocks for the second jump and have a much better chance of clearing it. So there's no real trick to it. You just have to land, soften your arm and get your leg on. And your horse needs to respond immediately. Train this until you're comfortably getting the three strides from the oxa to the cavalette. Then there's the landing and shortening. This is useful if you have a forward ride into a related distance. Or if you have a big striding horse that often makes related distances ride short. Or if you're riding a related distance that is measured short. You always want to do the shortening as soon as you land so that you're not interfering with your horse's canter stride just before it wants to take off at the second jump. So again, start off small and when you're doing this well, you can go to your normal height. You really want to make sure that you don't fall forward onto your horse's neck on landing and then keep your shoulder back when you're asking your horse to shorten its stride. And now you get to practice what you've been training in part one. You'll be doing a related distance that walks a pace long, so you can practice lengthening. And then you'll be doing a related distance that walks a pace short, so you can practice shortening. Okay, so you basically know what to expect. This line rides long and this line rides short. You know that already, but there are two areas that you need to try ride a certain way. So let's start with the ride to the long line. You really want to try avoid fiddling too much on the approach to the line over here, which will give you a quiet ride to the oxa and make the line ride even longer than it is. And then on the other side, you really want to try avoid having a flyer into the vertical because that will make the line ride shorter than it already is. So just realize if you do have those two rides into the lines, you'll have to work even harder to get the line to ride well. Awesome, you made it to the end. So you're the type of person that will really enjoy this channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and I'll keep the videos coming.